What is up, you guys? It's your favorite to roll with it, and I am back with another beef. Okay, honey, period. Let me get y'all set up the right way because, bitch. There we go. Is that better? That's better. What is up, you guys? I am taking personal readings. You can catch at me at Money Sign Caprice Cooks. You can also email me or Apple Pay me at CapriceCooksSideCloud.com, y'all. Right? All right, I work on energy, energy is split, so this could be about you, this could be about the person that you think about or anybody think about you. Um, also, time is an illusion, so this could be about the past, the present, or the future, but somehow it's affecting you right now. All right. Um, so, spirit guides, ascending master, so family, twin flame, family, please be here with me at this time, helping me receive a message to deliver it to my Virgos for January 1st through the 7th. For January 1st through the 7th. I'm just got, glad I got into the party. Like, it's kind of just like, God, I'm just I'm just grateful. I, Virgos, I feel like you motherfuckers are the real alchemists. Bitch, y'all are like, you like, God, I feel the music in my body. I feel like God is sending you, like, vibrations, like, through music. I feel like God is, like, raising your vibration through music. I feel like God is telling you, like, stay here with me. Be in hermit mode. 233, thank you, Ascending Masters. 111 on the phone, thank you, Ascending Masters. Period. 141 equals 6. I feel like harmony, balance. Like, I feel like a lot of us are needing to stay at home and kind of just, like, get everything together. Like, like fix our mind, fix our time, fix our space, fix our continuum. Time, space, continuum. What is, what is that? Is that a movie? The time, space, continuum. Time, space, continuum. Like, that's all I keep hearing. But I feel like that's like a movie or something. Like, it's like a cartoon or something. I'm telling you, pay attention to the movies that y'all kids watch. So many hidden messages. Like, um, I talked about time anomalies in Deja Vu in um, the, I want to say, either the Taurus or Capricorn video. One of the two. Probably the, the um, Capricorn. But, yeah. Pretty much, I feel like it's kind of like dancing. Like, somebody is, I'm hearing the movie Dirty Dancing. Also, somebody is, like, needing to tap back into dancing, like, feeling like feeling their body feeling like the sensuality feeling like the caress of the music and i feel like um i'm also hearing like ocean 22 thank you cinema masters somebody needs to tap back into their soft feminine power like they're like like i i don't like i i don't know why i'm moving like i, I literally don't know 33 thank you cinema masters like i just i just feel like it's kind of like somebody is needed to like embrace like like the Af like the African roots or something like that. I just feel like my body is kind of just like 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 going to where spirit is like leading it to. And for me, I I'm hearing the like allow yourself to cry. The Virgo card pops out. Okay, period. So I feel like allow yourself to cry. Allow yourself to have time with God. If you have been making yourself too busy, make sure that you are taking time to spend with God because I feel like God got some messages for you, sis. It's kind of like, I feel like, and you got your hand out. You got your hand out. I feel like you're you are, you're receiving blessings, Virgo. I feel like you're not being afraid to ask. If you need help, sis, ask for help and God will give it to you. I feel like you are you are becoming aligned with your higher self. You are surrendering to your higher self. You are realizing your true destiny. You are making your dreams come true. And you could be dealing with the source or something like that. But with the 11th house and the 10th house and... Bitch, tell me this ain't 11-11. One, one, eleven. Ten, eleven, bitch, period. Period. And it was, a, I saw eleven, eleven in the last video, which was the Capricorn video, so definitely check that out. Um, Earth signs, watch all the Earth sign videos, because I feel like all y'all messages, like, correlated with each other. We have the North Node with Destiny here. I feel like somebody is needing to tap into their birth chart. I feel like somebody is needing to kiss on themselves slow, like, be, t like take time like kissing is very intimate and like the correlation between that that i'm getting is kind of like just just find that closeness with yourself you know don't be afraid to masturbate don't be afraid to spend time with yourself don't be afraid to get yourself a facial or do your own feet or get your nails done or get your hair done do something that's going to make you feel close to you now i know this is weird to be talking about like on camera and on youtube and all that stuff but sis masturbation works like it, it works as a form of like releasing those endorphins releasing that like releasing that stress and all that kind of stuff but also it does like help you love yourself it does kind of like connect you with yourself and with your own honey pot because listen 
okay if you are if you work with Oshun if you believe in deities and stuff like that I believe in soft feminine power I believe in divine feminines and with this Taurus card here I feel like you're working from your soft power I feel like you're working from seduction I feel like you're working from your mouth not saying that you're sucking dick but you could be but the song that's on is run my mouth so I feel like you're just communicating you're just talking you're just using your words and it's kind of like motherfuckers just falling at their feet for everything that you're saying because you that bitch period, period. <laughs> Period. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But I feel like you real seductive. I feel like you real just kind of like in your zone. I feel like you real just on your shit. Like you just like, you feeling real confident. You feeling real good. And I feel like you just loving on you. Ooh, Virgo. I'm a Virgo this week. Shit. All right. Why is this um the 11th house here? Satisfaction. Because I'm not here for your satisfaction. I'm done. I'm on the edge. I'm, I'm, I'm bored. I'm bored with what the fuck you got going on. Somebody's gonna leave somebody. Somebody ain't being satisfied sexually. That's why they masturbating so much. It's kind of like, somebody is like, I want a love that's gonna make me run my mouth. Like, I want a nigga that's gonna make me feel so good about me that they, they want to run their mouth about me. Like, I need a nigga that's gonna brag about me. I feel like somebody's self-esteem is at an all-time high. They're just like, bitch, I deserve to be a wife. Okay, like, I know my destiny. My destiny is not to just be a girlfriend until I'm 45 years old. I'm not doing it. I don't care if my parents did it. I'm not. So somebody is realizing that they're bored with being single. They're bored with being a temptress. They're bored with being tempted by weak ass niggas. Like this is like boredom. This is like I'm done. This is kind of like no more. No more. I'm on my way. God is kind of like I'm bringing your husband like to you. Like you are going to be satisfied. I feel like many of us. What's he talking about? 39, thank you so much. I don't even know what that nigga is talking about. I don't know. But anyway, with this dream, why are dreams here? Because I forgot what I was saying. But with the dreams, okay, so I feel like all your dreams coming true with the cherry card here. Like, this is hot, fast, ready. Like, this, this is also, like, indicative of July or something happening in July or seven months away from now. So, time. Uh, but with the world card here... I honestly and deeply in my heart feel like things are starting to change for you. Like, I feel like you are meeting somebody who wants to be down for you, who wants to show you that, you know, you do look very fertile. You are very, like, sensuous and you are blooming. And this person does see you as loyal and they do see you as tenacious and somebody who is worthy and earthly. And, you know, they see you as all these things, like like earthly they see you as beautiful but spiritually they see you as powerful and they see you as their whole world like i feel like they just be watching and watching don't do it stick to it so it's kind of like, I want to stick to this love. Like, I want to stick to this. I want this to be solid. It's kind of like, this is a foundation that is being built. If you show me you down, baby, I'll stick around. With this ten of, with this ten of pentacles, with this, rep I said ten of pentacles, I didn't mean that. But it's the reputation card with the number ten on it. I feel like if you put your all into something, you can get that shit. Like, you can you can make that shit happen. You know, I feel like lights, camera, action, like, this is, this is something that could be special. If you put the work in, if y'all both sit on y'all thrones and y'all act like the gods and the goddesses that y'all are, if y'all act like the kings and queens that y'all are, eight, eight, thank you, ascending masters, y'all can bring this love into fruition, like, period. I feel like this is, a, this is a power couple I'm talking to. This is people who will literally be famous together. This is literally building a life together, 903, thank you, ascending masters, period. I, do I got very on my church shit? Now I feel like I want to check. What's this temptation about, though? Manifestation with the five of cups. So, I feel like this is you being regretful of shit that you manifested for yourself in the past. Since it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing, 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 nothing to be, like... It ain't nothing to be regretful of. There's nothing to be mad about. Also, I feel like this is somebody, like, being mad at themselves for, for not sticking around, for not seeing that goodness in you, for not manifesting you as their partner. 942 equals 6. Thank you, Ascended Masters. It's kind of just like this person is very regretful of what they did to you, of how they treated you. They didn't see you as special. I just want you to myself. It's kind of just like, nigga, I want you to myself, like, period. 
And I feel like what's happening is these women, these divine feminine Virgos, you or these Taurus person and who could be cross watching for a Virgo. I feel like what's happening is somebody is coming into so much self love that they're not dealing with somebody who's going to deal with somebody else. This is also somebody who sees you as so powerful, as so beautiful that they don't want to share you with nobody else. They want to be down for you. I might just love you more than myself. See, that's codependent. I feel like somebody is telling you, like, that's not good for my health. Like, I cannot stay in this relationship. I feel like this is like leaving one relationship and going towards the next. Even if you haven't been in this relationship for a year, you are finally deading the shit, the feelings, the emotions of the past relationship. And you're using them to your advantage. You're letting go of regret and temptation and pain and resentment. And you're using that to manifest your destiny. Why the five of cups here? What they regret for us? Yeah, Paige and Wands, they, they didn't come to you with this offer. They didn't come to you with good news about collaborating. That's what they regretful about. They regretful of not making this shit come into fruition and watching it come from somebody else. This is good news. This could be good news about a pregnancy. This could be a pregnancy coming up for somebody and y'all becoming a family of three. You could be having three kids. But I feel like what's happening is like somebody is wanting to collaborate with you like as far as like a business partner or, you know, somebody who already has money, somebody who's already financially well off or financially stable. We got the four of pentacles, so we got two fours, which is all about stability and home. So I feel like somebody is in hermit mode with the star card here. Focusing on their pentacles. Somebody is on the edge of glory, on the edge of making their dreams come true. So it's kind of like, I don't want to indulge in distractions. I don't want to indulge in anything that's not for me. I don't, I don't really want to sit here and give you my money or my time or my energy. Like, I, I'm going to be stingy with that shit. So I feel like, um, Virgos, you're in a very stingy energy. Like, I need to secure my bag. You change your mind. We were talking about you change your mind, nigga. Now you want me. What? Put the hermit card here. Why is this here? The Five of Pentacles, because maybe you went through a tower moment. Like, maybe you lost your job. Maybe you had, you felt left out. You felt out in the cold. And then I was like, guess you lost one. Now you learned and you live. Because I'm learning, getting stronger. It's like, just, just when you put this nigga on, just when you tried to teach him how to get money, just when you tried to help this nigga out, you had to show him who the fuck you was. It's like, I'm good. I'm good. I don't want you no more. Hell yeah. I feel like somebody is getting over a breakup here, Virgo. Somebody over here is going through a breakup. Somebody is going through a breakup. Somebody is focusing on their pentacles. Somebody child is really, really growing up. And you're realizing that you're doing a really good ass job with them. They went from a little ass kid to a teenage boy to a motherfucking high priest. This nigga, you got a real nigga stepping in. You got a real nigga stepping in with the ace of wands and the two of cups at the bottom of the deck and the king of cups. I'm a high. And the lovers, bitch, I'm a high. Look at all these cups. Oh, my God. Bitch, what? Y'all can't tell me that y'all not seeing what I'm seeing. You got the lovers card here with the king of cups. This king of cups is ready to make a choice. Like, this nigga is ready. Like, you got the king of cups with the hierophant. Like, this not the hierophant. This is the high priestess. But he, he working in the hierophant energy. Like, honey, look. Like, this, 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 this is a real nigga right here. Like, King of Cups plus this mixed together, that's a real nigga. Like, this is a, a nigga who is, like, emotionally available, stable, and ready to love you, but also wise enough to not be codependent on you. This person has options, so that you know they fine. With the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands, like a new beginning in love. But also, oh my gosh, somebody definitely getting pregnant. You got the um, Page of Wands plus the Ace of Wands. This is like the birth of a little boy. So if you have been manifesting a little boy, a child, or something like that. Stop 
lying to yourself with the seven of swords telling you that you can't have all of this shit or telling you that you are not worthy or deserving of this shit because you definitely are sis period um i feel like a lot of you have been in a position where you have been trying to move on from self-doubt from being mean to yourself from feeling like things aren't happening as quickly as you would like them to with the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck again somebody's life is taking a complete turn with the knight of pentacles but it took a long time it's been a long time coming and that's why you had all that self-doubt and stuff like that because it took so long to come into fruition but with the nine of swords here i feel like if you have been like having sleepless nights if you've been up at three o'clock in the morning it's time to use that time to your advantage it's time to start waking up early it's time to start getting up at four or five six o'clock in the morning and making sure that you aren't making those mistakes of not utilizing your time Put an, put an ending to all the heartbreaks, you know? I feel like this empress here, which is you, is doing a lot of healing. I see you got me on red. I feel like somebody really hurt your heart because I feel like they were reading you. They knew the type of person that you were. This could have been somebody spiritual, which is why it hurt you so bad. I was meant to see you. Can I? You need to find a way to your body. Yeah, maybe I'm out my mind. Okay, so I feel like somebody feel like I'm out of line by even coming to you and asking you, can you be with me after I caused so much heartbreak to you? After I already ended our relationship and did it, that shit. Also, check out the Capricorn video because it got a little deer up in here. And I said that I felt like somebody was coming, like a spiritual guy was coming to somebody in a dream, offering them some type of key to get over something, to get over a relationship, the key to make the right choice or something like that. It's kind of like somebody is being shown their next steps as far as to like what to do should i i feel like somebody is questioning do i get over this person or do i continue to like dwell here like do i get over this person or do i like move on to this new person because i feel like for some of y'all y'all want to get back with this person this could be the divine masculine and then for some of y'all i feel like you want to move on and with this seven of um the seven of wands right here this is like defense like fighting like fighting what's already meant to happen so i feel like the more and more you stay trying to be back with this person the more and more you're fighting off your blessings the more and more you're letting go of you know the things that god has for you why is the two of cups here two of cups knight of swords it may be a lot of drama i feel like there's going to be a lot of people communicating about y'all new relationship but that's just because y'all soulmates that's because people are seeing y'all come into union and it's something that's beautiful but it's also something that's admired and envied by other people who are not coming into that position so i feel like what's happening is somebody is wanting to find a way to approach you to come towards you and tell you that they have seen you in in their dreams and that you are their destiny I feel like, Virgo, you have somebody wanting to surrender to their journey. And I feel like their journey is you. However, I don't even think you've surrendered. I don't really think that you are paying attention to the people who are paying attention to you. Because your mind is so much elsewhere. Um, yeah, I just feel like somebody is just not focused on... I'm hearing like heavy, like heavy, heavy emotions, like, um, like a heavy, a heavy heart, a heavy heart. Somebody still has a heavy heart over an ex and I'm praying for you. I'm sending you love and light, but my screen door just opened and another door is being opened for you. It's kind of like, I'm not a victim. I'm no longer blaming myself or blaming others for what it is that happens to me. I'm allowing myself to go through certain lessons, even if that means having my heart broken. Even if that means being sad for a while. You know, I'm not a victim of my circumstances. I, I am a learner um, of my lessons. It's kind of like somebody is having a healthy fear. Somebody is feeling a little bit of fear, but I don't think it's hindering them from anything. I think it's the feeling of wanting it so bad. I think it's the the fear of uh, it not being perfect. And I do think there is a level of healthy fear that is needed when it comes to 
releasing or when it comes to manifesting or anything like that, I feel like it's important to have a little fear of what you're going to release so that you can have that drive to, to know that something else is going to come in. Like you want to fear not having something so that you can usher something in back in. It's kind, it's kind of like when you when doctors fear killing somebody in surgery. It's not that they're manifesting that they're going to kill that person. They need that healthy fear to create that drive and that motivation to do what it is that they have to do. And I feel like what's happening is you're finding that for yourself. You're finding that healthy fear and putting an end to the scarcity of um, the positivity. It's kind of like you want to have more positive than negative. You want to put an ending to only feeling happy or content at certain times. You want to feel that way all the time. It's kind of like you are really tapping into finding your serendipity, your your sereneness, your serenity, your peacefulness. You're tapping into becoming the true alchemist. Learning that every single thing that you go through, Virgo, is for a reason. Nothing that you go through, it happens in vain. Nothing that you go through is for no reason. There's a divine purpose for everything. Divine timing is real. It's very, very much real. And you can move like this instead of like that, and that could determine a whole different sector of your life. So it's important to be patient with yourself and kind of trust the process and know that, you know, negative thoughts are going to arise. But that doesn't mean that we have to stay there. You know, it doesn't mean that we have to be stuck there. It doesn't mean that we have to live there. It doesn't mean that we only have to think about that shit. Um, it, it's kind of like coming in a position where you're realizing that the value of patience, of struggle, of triumph, of getting over hurdles. Like the feeling of feeling loose when something good happens or feeling appreciative when something good happens because you've been through the struggle you know it's it's, it's 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 a lifetime it's like a body of work it's not just one essay that i'm putting into my portfolio like you want to create a whole body of work you want everything to kind of flow with each other and go with each other so the pain that you have went is going to bring you in certain type of success that that pain needed to trigger so I think it's very important that we be aware of our pain and we allow ourselves to feel our pain. We allow ourselves to get through whatever it is that is being handed to us, whether it's a struggle or hard time or anything like that. I feel like it's very, very important that we do love on ourselves and reach out to ourselves enough to the point where we question why why is this fear here why is this here why am i acting like this why am i blaming this person why is this like that the more and more you ask the why the more and more you get the answers to how how to fix it how to change it how to make it better how to ascend okay i hope this reading was good for you all virgos again i am taking personal readings you can cash at me at money sign caprice cooks you can also email me or apple pay me at caprice cooks at iPod all right i'm out of here